Hello and welcome to episode 21 of Bulldog Weekly. I'm Jenny Thomas and today's a really special day for RBTV. As you may or may not know, we were fortunate enough to get selected as a finalist at the IHSA Spirit Section Showdown. Basically, we submitted a video showcasing our student section, school spirit, and community service, and we were selected as one of four finalists in our category. So tomorrow, March 2nd, we get to go down to Illinois State University to find out if we win. Now that also means today is a big day because we also get a state send off. So if you wanna come support RBTV, come down to the atrium in between sixth and seventh period to see us get sent off. You may or may not have heard that there was a special musical going on this weekend. Let's take a look at the behind the scenes. Going back to Bulldog Weekly, our first segment today is with me and it's showing a little producer's cut of my PSA. Hi, my name is Jenny Thomas and welcome back to a director's cut. Today we're going to be looking through my PSA. So the idea that I had behind this was to really show um, what a homework overload is like for being a teenager in school. So obviously I'm here, have a lot of homework, it's 2.44 in the morning and I'm I'm locked in. I'm like getting all this work done. Um, the style that I had behind this was that I wanted to try and fit as much footage into just a couple seconds as I could. So I did this like opacity kind of like just showing all the different things that I was doing and you know, just tired. And we get to the last thing on my list, which is to write my English essay. Um, and I go to my English essay, and it's ironic because it's the importance of sleep. So yeah, there's a little graphic, and I just thought it would kind of show uh, the other side of being in school and, you know, having, it's tough doing a lot of things at once, you know. Yeah, I really just wanted to kind of show what it's like for, I'm sure a lot of students, to try and get a bunch of things done at once, especially juggling sports, school, outside of school activities, and like your own time. So I hope that my PSA can kind of shed a light or show a light on what teenagers go through. Now that all of our videos are submitted to MME and Mattis, we have a lot more time in the RBTV studio. So Mr. Holgen decided to give us a challenge. This week we learn about practical transitions, a way to seamlessly move throughout your film. This next piece, created by me and Michaela is what we decided to do with it. Something people don't normally notice is how our eyes are really similar to cameras. Let's take a look. Starting with the outermost part, your eyelids and your cornea are just like a lens cap. They protect. The color part of the eye is iris, and this X is the aperture. It regulates the amount of light coming in. Your pupil is the lens. It's a long tunnel that leads to the... Sensor. This is like your optic nerve. It takes the light and transfers it into a chemical form. Coincidentally, there's a part of your eye called the lens, which helps you focus, just like on a camera. Finally, our body represents a tripod. And that's how we're like cameras. Thanks for watching.
my name is Henry Hall from RBTV. Did you know that recently, Riverside Brookfield Speech Team competed at the IHSA Speech Regional Tournament? Bobby Lovero and Lillian Fallard took fourth in humorous duet acting. Henry Backus and myself took fourth in dramatic duet acting. And Catherine Chacoy took third place in dramatic interpretation. Here's more from the people involved. The Captain of Speech Team is a really fantastic experience. Um, people are just so amazing there, and it's a really great way to just like get to know people more and share my love of speech. <laughs> Going to state was definitely a unique experience. I, it was stressful, but it was a really amazing thing that I would not trade for anything in the world. My piece is called My Mother's Touch. It is about a young girl who is behind bars because she has struggled with her mother's trying to seek her mother's validation for many years. Her mother just has never really loved her as she wanted her to. And one day the character is left behind in a burning house fire and the mother leaves her there. And so just kind of in like rage and just grief, she ends up murdering her mother. So I got involved with speech team when I first started here. I started as the assistant coach. I got involved because I used to participate in speech. Um, so it was something that I remembered from high school. And then when the head coach left, I took over as head coach. Usually how I explain it to people is that there's two sides to the speech world. We have an acting side and then a speaking or like address side. So um, I explain it to them, it's like giving a commencement address or some sort of speech in front of people or it is acting out a scene or monologue. So far, it's been a great year for the speech and drama team and I can't wait to see what they're able to accomplish next year. Once again, my name is Henry Hall from RBTV. And remember, stay positive, Bulldogs. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Bulldog Weekly. I'm Jenny Thomas. See you next time.